Viper drives back, but he's got damaged systems all over the place. Uh-huh. Any luck getting that computer up and running yet, Zach? How about the mission descriptor file? Can you access that at least? Uh-huh. Zach! Hmm? The mission statement. We need to find it. Hello, Earth to Zach. Uh-huh. Zach! I'm hearing you. You want to know what we're doing here? Six complete strangers with almost blank memories on a crippled ship in unknown space. All I want to know is where an optic coupling this big got to. You're working on it. Yeah, I'm working on it. Jen's cognitive integrators are a mess. I'm trying to reroute. How long? With or without you bugging me. Right. I'll get out of your way. I've got the food synthesizers working. At least we won't starve. Mmm. Are you sure about that? No, oh, I've had worse. When? Can't remember. Gwen, give the instant replay a rest. What if the hostile comes back? I want to be ready. Don't worry, we're ready. No, we're not. We got lucky. I'm trying to pin down their weapon recharge times. Good idea. Sure, it would be easier if the computer was online. I'm working on it. Good. Let us know when you're ready. Come on, Jen. Talk to me. Talk to me. Come on. Whoa! 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 Oh, man! Get him in ships. Just like they taught us in the court. Nice shot. Problem? It was working till I fried the terminal. All right, show me. Jen, you're back online. Yes. Rerouting my cognitive integrator solved the problem. You're a little shaky. Tell you what. Shut down the holograms, please, and run a full-level self-diagnostic. I cannot comply. My instructions are to resume the primary mission. And what does that mean? It means you must all return to cryogenic sleep. Through the vastness of space, a single ship carrying a crew of six speeds toward Earth. This is the story of their mission, to restore human life to a home they have never known. Three, four, two, two. You expect us to climb back into those pods and just go to sleep? Not a chance. You were awakened prematurely to deal with an emergency situation. The emergency is over. The mission profile must be restored. Jen, override the re-entry program. No. I have initiated restart of cryogenic subsystems. The capsules will be ready for your re-entry in 63 minutes. Wait. Let me try. Unfortunately, you were damaged in the attack, and I think you're not working right. Let me finish your repairs. I cannot deviate from the mission profile. Beginning shutdown of redundant systems. You will proceed to the cryo chamber immediately. I don't like this. She's shutting everything down. Oxygen? O2 levels? Dropping. I think she's steering us to cryo. That's it, pull the plug. No, we can't do that. Don't tell me you think she's right. What if, what if there's another emergency and she forgets to wake us up? Well, I have no intention of playing Sleeping Beauty again. Zach, 
There must be a way to disconnect her. Jen is a biomass computer. She has organic components. She's alive. She's not alive, Zach. She's a machine. Now that's your prejudice, Lisa. Her central processor has a living neural core. Come on! If you're telling me Jen's a, a person, you're as messed up as she is. No, what I'm saying is if I shut her down, part of her dies. And I'll probably never be able to get her running again. Fine by me. Yeah? You tell me how you're going to navigate without her. Look, we don't know how we got here or where we're headed. Do you really want me to kill the only chance we have at getting any answers? There's an access terminal in the cryo chamber. Let me try to fix her. Okay. She's using a very primitive layer of cognitive functioning. She's designed to explore alternative solutions, but she's not doing it. No kidding. And there's something else. Her EQ is gone. Her what? Emotional quotient. Jen's supposed to have feelings. You mean simulated feelings? Yeah, who cares about feelings? Can you fix it? Um, well, I won't know until I get deep into the system. Well, that's not much of an answer, is it? Oh, Brendan, get off his back. I will, when he fixes it. <sighs> no good. This terminal doesn't access Jen's subroutines. All I can pull up is cryo indexes. And what about the operating record? Here we go. Current date, Earth term, September 21, 26, 95. That's today. Departure date, April 19, 21, 2167. We've been on board 500 years. Can't be right. The human organism starts to lose stability at 100 years in cryo. After 500 years, we'd be toast. Well, maybe we came aboard much later than 2167. But, all right, the calendar is not the issue right now. Zach, where can you get full access to Jen? A diagnostic terminal, but I have no clue where to find one. Well, what's it look like? A terminal? Uh, you know, like this, only bigger. Uh, probably marked with a computer symbol. Okay, let's all split up and look for one. We'll start with the lower levels. Yuna, you and Zach take deck two, Brent and Greg take deck three, Lise and I will take deck four, and everybody stay in contact. Cute. She locked the hatch. Pop it with this. A laser scalpel. Or maybe the emergency hatch was devised for emergencies? Oh, I'm glad there's something on this boat the computer doesn't control. What? Armory. Weapons lockup. Access denied. Mmm, testosterone fit. How civilized. Are you always like this? Like what? Like... you. How would I know you've known me as long as I have? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow on me. Look at this. Hmm. This thing's a mess. Must have overloaded during the attack. Can't you tap into the connectors? No. The whole terminal's dead. There's no power. And let's keep looking. Right. I don't recognize this one. It's a double helix. It's the symbol of DNA. It's the fundamental building blocks of human life. What was that, deja vu? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. <clears throat> OK. <sighs> this doesn't work. What, you're gonna attack it with your bare fists? No, I'm gonna act very civilized. I'm gonna say, oh, that's very frustrating, and then I'm gonna attack with my bare fists. Okay, so I lied. <gasps> At ease, soldier. I, um, I think I remember the code. <clears throat> Doesn't look like an emergency terminal. Must be something else. Storage or something. 
You are not cleared for entry. <clears throat> Do you wish visual inspection? Yes. Please enter your passcode. Passcode? Um, What is behind this window? I just can't remember what it is. Red. Your trio. Reb, it's Bren. I'm on zone two, deck five. I need help. Fast! intensification of neural activity. Vital functions erratic. She just passed out. What's wrong with her? I don't know yet. I'll have an analysis in a minute. I'm just checking for abnormalities, arterial blockages, aneurysms, anything. But you remember what to look for? Yes. That's unusual. Encephalographic contour consistent with spontaneous replicatory syndrome. Which is what, in plain language? I think it's called, uh... Praxing? Praxing? What does it mean? It happens to people with memory implants. Gret's in a state of pre-existence, or praxing, and she's reliving a memory that belongs to her original donor. One of her parents? No. People with mothers and fathers don't need memory implants. Are you saying Greta's a clone? Yes. It explains the amnesia. She was waking from cryosleep before her memory implant was complete. We're all suffering from memory loss. Yeah, does that mean we're clones too? No, not possible. I'm with you. Lisa, are you sure? Oh, I don't like these vital signs. I'm gonna try to bring her out now. Lise, do something. I've got it under control. BP levels are coming down. It's Brent. Talk to me. Pulse 110. Brett? Temperature coming down. Brett? You okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. <clears throat> I felt as if I was someplace else. It's called a prex. You were re-experiencing a memory. What did you see? Has she resumed full function? Jen, you need to be restored to full function. I can do that, Jen, if you'll allow me full access. I cannot comply. Dormancy routines are ready to activate. Enter your cryo capsules now. We're not going anywhere. If you do not enter your capsules in 26 minutes, I will replace you. Replace us? Zach, what is this? It's a bluff. No, it's not. If we refuse to take our little naps, this ship is equipped to create new versions of us. It's what? These cryo capsules are part of a cloning module. This ship grew us from genetic samples. Grit. Maybe you are a clone, but... No, you are not maybe. I am a clone. And so are you, and so is Rev, and Lise, and Brent, and Zach. Gret, how do you know all this? I saw it in my prex. I was on Mars at the command center at Araxis, where this ship, Deepwater, was built. In its cargo bay is a bank of cloning capsules and genetic samples. It's enough material to populate a whole planet or repopulate one. This is the most recent vector analysis of the Pandora virus. Barring a miracle, the lunar colonies have less than six weeks. What about Earth? They stopped transmitting four hours ago. It might just be an equipment failure. No, I don't believe it either. Any luck with those genetic resistance studies? Not last I looked, but I've handed them off to Mitsuya. I'm full-time on the Deepwater Black Project now. Deepwater may be the only hope we have left. How soon can we get those gene banks to... Security. Proceed to level three. We have a quarantine breach. Security to level three. Security, proceed to level three. We have a quarantine breach. Security to level three. Exposure in Triage 6 and Corridor Alpha 7. All personnel in those areas report to be contained. Exposure in Triage 6 and Corridor Alpha 7. 
All personnel in those areas report to decontam. Oh, what's the point? We've already been exposed twice this week. Decontam's no help. Anyway. Everyone, we've just received confirmation. Earth is... Orbital satellites are detecting no life signs. Vector control is diverting all relief ships to the Terran colonies. So that's our mission. To make sure that the human race survives. And the six of us, we're just copies of somebody else. Genetic twins with their life memories programmed into us while our bodies grew in these capsules. So we can be replaced. No. No one is getting replaced. I have a better idea. This was your better idea? Well, it's the best I could think of. If we can restore the power to that dead terminal you and Zach found, then he can tap into it manually. Zach, how close am I? Almost there, another five meters. Zach, is this section still live? I'm not sure. Maybe you better hang back. Don't get chivalrous on me. I thought you wanted some help. All right, hand me the welder. I'll hold the condiment. Try not to burn my fingers off. Red? Yuna? Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. O2 levels in the access duct are dropping fast. So that's why I can't breathe. I'll check the O2 percentage. Red, get out of there. Can't. Don't have power to the crossover yet. Automatic shutdown of O2 levels is beginning in preparation for crew re-entry. I detect only two crew in cryo. All others report to the cryo chamber now. We've got a few seconds. O2 levels in there are critical. Rev? Rev, get out now. Rev, do you copy? I'm working on the divisional line now. If I've got it right, your lights should go on. Rev, you nailed it! You've got power! Now get out of there! Report to the cryo chamber, now. Okay, let's go, let's go! Almost there. Reloading the startup codes. Initializing the EQ subroutines. Enabling the independent logic module. Got it! First phase of re-entry is engaged. Enter your capsules now. Please, enter your capsules now. Zach, it didn't work. It will, Rev. Just give her a second to restart. Zach. I was finding it very difficult without my EQ. Humans can be so puzzling if one doesn't empathize with their emotions. Bren and Lise, I truly appreciate your cooperation. Now it would be very helpful if the rest of you took your places in the capsules. I think you blew it, Zach. What happened to the independent logic module? I enabled it. She just isn't using it. What a good this CQ does, Zach. We are starting re-entry. Ah. Uh. Zach, 
These emotions of hers, are they real or are they an act? They're real. Her EQ is a part of her design. It influences everything she does. Okay, is it strong enough to override the rest of her programming? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Jen? Yes, right. I'm opening this hatchway. You can't. It's sealed. Yes, I can, Jen. I can pop the seal with this laser scalpel. What will happen when I do? The oxygen in this chamber will dissipate. You'll all suffocate. Good. Then we'll die. Unless you find a way to restore oxygen to the ship. My instructions don't permit me You to... have five seconds, Jen. One. Two. Reb, please, don't. Zach, tell him not to. Three. Find another option, Jen. I can't. Four. Zach, help me. Five. No, stop! Your trio drum. Oh. I've suspended the cryo sequence. Replenishment of oxygen has begun. And? I'll help you reconstruct the mission profile. We'll search for alternate strategies. I should have suggested that earlier. Was I malfunctioning? Let's just say uh, you weren't yourself. I think you and Jen should program an emergency override in case this ever happens again. I'm on it. You guys okay? So, what do we do now? We go on. We carry out the mission. <laughs>